One of the Friday discussion question caught my eye. It asked, why is an understanding of the last day event so important in the coming crisis? And how are the scriptures a safeguard from deception? There are two extremes to avoid when it comes to this question. One focuses excessively on end time event to extend that of taking what the Pope ate for breakfast as a prophetic news. On the other hand, dismisses the need to understand these end time events, saying it's all about your relationship with Jesus. We should avoid these extremes. Understanding last day event is crucial for all believers as we navigate the coming crisis. This knowledge is to equip us to recognize the signs of the time and remain steadfast in our faith and avoid deception that will be prevalent. The scripture play a pivotal role in safeguarding believers from this deception, providing a solid foundation of truth and guidance. I have three points I want you to reflect on as we bring the whole week lesson to a close. Number one is maintaining steadfast faith. Knowledge of last day event strengthen believers' faith. It provides a clear picture of God's plan, reassures them that despite the chaos and the challenges, God is in control. This understanding fosters resilience and courage, helping us to endure trials, persecution, with the assurance that these events are part of the prophetic timeline leading to Jesus' return. The other thing I wanted us to reflect on is avoiding deception. How do we do that? One of the major themes of the last day event is to prevent, you know, is to, is to be aware of the prevalent deception. Jesus warned that false prophets and false Christ will arise performing great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, the very elect. Understanding last day event, a quick believers to discern truth from error, recognizing and rejecting false teaching and movement that contradict scripture. Now, the third point I wanted to make is the question of how do the scripture safeguard us and, and help us in this deception? You know, scripture can be a safeguard in, when facing this final crisis. The first that I wanted to make is that the Bible should be our source of truth. The Bible should be the unlimited source of truth. It reveals God's character, his will, and his plan for humanity. Jesus prayed, sanctify them by the truth, your word is truth. And in the age of widespread deception, the Bible provides an unchanging standard against which all teachings and claim must be measured prophetic um, guidelines. The scripture contain numerous prophecies about the last day event. Books like Daniel and Revelation provide an end time event. It offers you know, insight in the sequence of event and the nature of the coming crisis. By studying these prophecies, believers are recognizing when these events began to unfold and understand its significance. The other thing I will talk about is spiritual ammo. The Bible equipped believers with spiritual ammo to stand against deception. You know, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 18, describe the armor of God, including the belt of truth. The, br the breastplate of righteousness and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. These spiritual armor enable believers to stand and defend the faith and resist lies and temptation of the enemy. The last one that I will comment about is encouragement and hope. The Bible offers encouragement and hope, reminding believers of God's promise and the ultimate victory of good over evil. In times of crisis, these promises provide comfort and strength and believers resolve around their faith. Friends, when it comes to the final crisis, 
we should hold on to the promises of God. The promises that Jesus is on his throne. The promises that good will have victory over evil. The promises that he will come again and make things anew. This is what should encourage us and strengthen us as we approach the final event that is in front of us. Thank you for studying with me this week. It's been a, a, a blessing study for me. And thank you for studying with me this quarter. This is my last nugget. I know Pastor Bob is back next week with lesson number 13, but I'm blessed as you study alongside me this quarter. God bless you and happy Sabbath when it comes.